Greetings, brothers and sisters in the Lord. Once again, you are all welcome to our channel, Friends of Screen. As you all must have noticed by now, our channel is all about helping with the best materials with regard to praying with Psalms, offering prayers, as well as giving teachings and tips on how to get the best from our prayer life in general. This is because prayer is the key to any successful Christian living in this wicked world. Therefore, it is necessary to do all the needful in order to have a successful life. Today in this video, we want to take a closer and a different look at the beautiful message of Psalm 121 from a perspective of a truly helpless child of God and how they can find strength and survival. Some of us must have seen or experienced how difficult it can sometimes get for us as children of God in this wicked world, especially in situations where we are not willing to bargain our beliefs with the moral standards of this world. As children of the Most High God, we are called not to live the Babylonian way of life, which often promotes moral decadence and indulgence in sinful behaviors. As we all know, true followers of Christ are called to live according to the moral standards set forth in the Bible, and this involves pursuing holiness and righteousness in all areas of our life. Now, imagine you are facing a tough situation, feeling helpless and not sure of what to do. In moments like this, it's important to recognize that relying only on ourselves won't get us very far. And so, just like the psalmist, we can acknowledge our limitations and understand that true help comes from a higher power. It's like realizing that we can't carry the weight of the world on our own shoulders. We need a device source to lean on for guidance and support. However, our first impulse is always to look beside us for help, to look for the next available human help, which is quite normal. Now, the problem is we might also be tempted by the devil to fall into the hands of the wrong helper. The next helper we might look up to might just be an agent of the devil, waiting to bargain our soul for a quick or lifelong assistance. How many of us ever truly realize this type of danger? For most people, they don't care because they conclude that God is also going to use human beings to assist them. Indeed, God is not coming down to help us. Rather, He will send us human help. The question is, is the help we are looking for really from God? Is this person more of our own heart's desire? And how do we differentiate God's helper from the helper sent by the enemy to entangle us? What do we do to get this help? And what do we offer in return for this help? This is surely a message to meditate on as we take a closer look at our life as two children of God. In the true sense of looking at Psalm 121 as a true follower of Christ, we are supposed to seek and depend totally on God first. Let's look at verses 1-2 to two closer. It reads, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. Where shall my help come from? My help comes from Jehovah who made heaven and earth. Have you really been in a situation where your first impulse was truly to look up to God? How often do you think about spending your time with this Psalm 121, meditating on it day and night? And while you were meditating on it, were you also thinking of the next step? Did you wait for God to give you feedback on your situation, or you weren't looking for help? based on your own knowledge and understanding. To demonstrate this, let us think about Moses leading the Israelites through the wilderness. Let us recall that they were utterly helpless, surrounded by enemies and facing hunger and thirst. But their survival didn't depend on their own strength or strategies. They had to depend on God, who provided water from a rock and manna from heaven. Their journey teaches us the importance of looking beyond ourselves and trusting in a power greater than our own. 
this is where we can truly make good use of Psalm 121, wholeheartedly and religiously. Indeed, in real life, we often encounter situations where we feel helpless, a difficult illness, a financial crisis, or a broken relationship. We may be tempted to rely solely on our own resources or try to figure everything out on our own. But the truth is, the best way to survive these challenges is to surrender our pride and recognize that we need help from a higher source, help from our Creator, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us not forget this. The focus should be on learning to wait on God first for answers instead of desperately looking for help everywhere or accepting help from anywhere. So what are we supposed to do as children of God? Brothers and sisters in the Lord, it is very important to know that Psalm 121 is not just to be read or listened to for fun. It's not just for the sake of the good comforting words. It is supposed to be acted upon, just like many Psalms we are going to look at in the coming days. Now let's look at a person going through a tough divorce. They may feel lost and broken, not knowing how to move forward. But instead of completely depending on themselves, they turn to their faith and seek comfort in prayer and in spiritual guidance. They discover that their strength doesn't have to come from within, but from a loving and a compassionate God who can provide healing and wisdom. It's all about depending on God first and foremost, instead of jumping into the next relationship that is not sanctioned by God. In other words, it's about acknowledging that we don't have all the answers and entrusting ourselves to a higher power. Remember, the psalmist found solace by acknowledging their help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Therefore, let us learn to wait on God to send help. And if we truly believe in God that is all powerful and all knowing, then we can trust Him in such situations. Most importantly, it's essential to refuse to live the Babylonian way of life in such situations. When we surrender our bodies and place our trust in God, we find a renewed sense of hope and resilience. Just like how a little bird trusts his spirit to provide food and protection, we can trust that God is always watching over us. And just as a loving parent never slumbers nor sleeps while caring for the child, God is constantly attentive to our needs. So, children of God, when we find ourselves in a helpless situation, remember that we don't have to go through it alone. Seek guidance and strength from a higher power, whether it's through prayer, reading scripture, or seeking support from our faith community. Friends of Squaw are always here to help you out. Our great collection of spiritual materials for guidance is ever growing. The truth is, sometimes, the help we get from the outside world from unbelievers and haters of God can entangle us and take us away from the perfect will of God for us. Some of our brothers and sisters in the Lord are suffering today in their relationships because they seek help in the wrong places. Let us, therefore, learn to embrace the assurance that we are never alone and that our helper is watching over us. We pray that the grace of God to diligently seek Him for us in all our ways we abound in us. In Jesus' name. Thank you all for watching. We hope you will share these teaching videos with your friends and families because learning to fully depend on God in difficult situations is also a way of showing faith and dependence, which in a way honors God. Kindly support us by subscribing to our channel and please Make sure you click the bell icon below to get the notification for our next video release. And we pray that our good Lord will surely subscribe to all areas of your life as you do so. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you all.